So, Michael, you're with Diligent, the Diligent Home Inspector. Yeah, so I run a company called Diligent okay. out of Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. We're a traditional home inspection company. Um, and I also have a YouTube channel and uh, a Facebook channel where uh, I'm producing content about our industry under the name The Diligent Inspector. Can you tell me a little bit more about that channel? What do you say content about our industry? Who is it? Who's the end user, who's the, who's the audience for that content? Yeah, so I've been in this business about eight years, and I come to conferences like this, or I go to a class, and I sit around with other home inspectors, and there's sort of a couple layers of conversation that are happening, and the deeper you go down, the quieter the conversations are, the more seldom that you get a chance to have them. And what I mean is, talking about the business, sort of the meta conversation, right? right? So the philosophy behind what drives us. Not just like what books are we reading and what leadership styles are we emulating, but like what is the motivating factors for the why we do things? Or uh, we, we obviously focus a lot on the technical elements in our business. That's why we're here at this conference. We're going to education classes. I'm talking about mold, very yeah. technically speaking here at one o'clock today. Uh, but at the end of the day, there's also a should I be getting into the mold business or right. what do I do when these sort of things crop up in my business and so those conversations I call them sort of the hot button issues right I think there's not a lot of people able to have them maybe they don't have the words right they have the gut feeling but they don't have the words and so I'm trying to give voice to those conversations and ferret out some of those um, harder maybe less popular uh, sides of those issues and let people see all see all points so your goal is to help other inspectors find the answers to these issues, these yeah. kinds of how they should run their business and not even maybe just how to market it or how much to charge, but you know how to do things like, should I be in the mold business, all that kind of thing. Right, I think that the inspection business is primed for a couple sort of thought leaders to sort of rise um, and people coalescing around them who people say, yes, I see myself in them, or the, the story that he's describing, that's happened to me. So it, it's about uncovering this sort of interesting mystery in our inspection business, that is, we are all so different and so disparate in so diff many different places, but we all have these really, really unique, similar experiences, no matter who you are, how big your company is, where right. it's located, and that connective tissue is sort of hard to uncover when you're in a class about structural and engineering or whatever. So I'm hoping to have that conversation because it's my favorite version of the conversation that I want to have when I come to these conferences. That's awesome. That's awesome. So really all about connecting inspectors totally. and supporting them. Yeah. So how is this, the diligent inspector uh, content, has that affected your home inspection business? Not yet. And I, I don't know if it will in uh -huh. the short term. Um, so it is a bit of a vanity project. I'm okay with admitting that out loud. Yeah. <laughs> um, because I'm not really trying to drive content necessarily through that channel towards my user base or my referral base. Uh, right now, I'm hoping to coalesce sort of a, a certain amount of um, following, I would just say, around me so that I have an op option to monetize later. If I wanted to start a consulting business within our industry, then I already have a group of people who are knowing where I am. If I want to move into a place to affect okay. change, then I have an easier time doing that because I'm more visible. And so it's, it's laying groundwork for my future self uh, much right. more than it is sort of directly driving business to my current self. For the moment, uh, I am probably slacking off on the video side uh, and the content creation on my business for the Vanity Project, right. but the truth is I have a team that's driving you know, referrals or whatever through the business currently. So yeah, we need to increase the, uh, the ways that we do that, but we're not overly hurting at the moment. So what, what, how can people, how are you putting content out for the diligent inspector? So I have a YouTube channel, but I realized that at the end of the day, I'm not looking to become some big YouTuber. I'm not looking to monetize. And I think I had to sort of come to that uh, realization even myself. I think that was a little conversation I was having with myself. Right. And so I think the main way to connect with me online is through my Facebook page, The Diligent Inspector. You can look that up uh, or you can look it up through my name, Michael Conrad. Um, and so it's all connected, but uh, I'm trying to be active on some of the groups and I'm out there um, just trying to um, hear what people want to talk about.
Do you guys have like a Facebook group or anything where you? Uh, not so much a group. We're not really inviting that level of conversation quite yet. Okay. Uh, but I do have a couple different Facebook groups that I run, including a mold Facebook group. Okay. Well, and I need to be a part of that. Yeah, you probably should. It's pretty fun. Uh, we get sent down to the weeds sometimes in microbiology, which I'm always told I shouldn't talk about because it makes people gloss over. But I don't know. It tickles some sort of scientific bone in my body. Well, I, I teach a mold class to real estate agents okay. where we're at. And uh, the more I can learn and the better I can convey the realities of mold, not just the uh, the way the news portrays it. Oh, scary, totally. scary mold. There's, there's a little bit more to it than that. So. I think that's the point of today's class, which I titled The Science and Business of Mold. Because really... There's a lot of inspectors that are sort of adjacent to it. You come to a conference, someone tries to sell you a mold pump, uh, or enough people ask you, hey, you're a home inspector, what do you think about mold? To where you sort of have this false sense of I know what's going on, when in reality, as you probably know yourself, it's not quite nearly what people think it is. Right. And the business isn't just about padding fees or adding on simple services, or if you see it, swab it, you know, these sorts of things. Right. It's much more complicated than that. And so I wanna, I wanna invite people to ask themselves the hard questions, what I call the forks in the road. Am I gonna do A, am I gonna do B? Am I going to do an add-on service uh, style in mold testing for my business, or am I going to create a whole standalone revenue stream you know, for mold testing and assessing and these sorts of things. And uh, I think that the realtors need a whole different level of education. So today, hopefully we're breaking down how to bring it into the business, but some of this stuff can be stolen from. I'm all about stealing my own content right. and recycling into something else. But a lot of it probably needs to be repackaged into educational forums for agents and for clients so that they can also benefit from sort of breaking down the hard concepts into bite-sized pieces. Great. So. What can the inspectors expect to walk away from with your class today? Well, I'm really hoping, my big goal is that they have a clear idea of what their next step is regarding mold in their business. And that may be, I'm not getting into it. Right. It may be, I want to add it on just simply as an add-on service for my home inspections. And it may be, I want to get into it from a larger scale. I'm hoping to give them enough of the science and the building science to be dangerous and some really <laughs> healthy steps of like, this is exactly what I need to go get, this is the relationships I need to make, these are the places I need for more information, so that they can walk away literally and do it. Because that's, I think, the most important thing when I come to the conference is the big, what can I take away from this? And honestly, I'm not sure a lot of the, uh, the presenters are thinking about that when they're presenting. They're just saying, here's a subject, here's all the parts of the subject. Right, right. Well. I think it sounds like a great class. If I can break away from my booth, I might have to come check it out. When and where is it? Okay, it's an Empire C classroom, and okay. it's going to be at 1 o'clock. Um, I'm trying to have about an hour and a half of content. I do have 202 slides, so it's going to be a race. Um, I'm really trying to leave a nice, solid 30 minutes at the end for questions. I love to let the room drive the conversation and see where we go. Awesome, awesome. You guys got to attend this class. If you have mold in your area, you need to get educated because if you're getting asked about it, it is too complex of an issue to just spout off something if you don't understand Agreed. it. Agreed. Sounds like a great class. Thanks for teaching. Thanks for being an educator. Thanks for producing content. That's something our industry needs. So I hope that in your future plans that uh, you're teaching more inspectors how to get involved with content, how to take that message, those conversations, and put them out into their communities where it's helpful. But well, good. Well, thanks for saying that, and maybe we can link up online. Sounds great. All right. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Michael.